Always. We ask the questions. What is needed in the world? This weekend, elections in Turkey. Millions of people go to the polls to elect a president and a new parliament. It's the first time since the referendum last year when the people approved a new constitution giving more power to the presidency. Today on Talk to Al Jazeera, we discuss what President Erdogan hopes to achieve if he wins a new term in a conversation with a spokesperson. But first, another contender for the presidency, the leader of the Sadet party. He says President Erdogan is not doing enough to unite the Muslim world abroad and is moving the country to a dictatorship at home. Mr. Temel Karamullahoglu, thank you very much for talking to Al Jazeera. Thank you very much. Yeah. Traditionally, you and your party have been allied with President Erdogan and the AKP. What is it that's made you peel away from this alliance in these upcoming elections? Well, we did not peel away from them. They peeled away. They left us. They left the principles of Erbakan and started a new course for themselves. The pr principles are completely different. We give a lot of importance, for example, to um, ethical values. And secondly, we give a lot of importance to economical and technological development. And thirdly, we have a different dignified foreign policy, what we call, and we try to establish an Islamic Union as well. Now, they have left all of these goals. They said that, no, we are going to join European Union. European Union is our ideal setup, and their values is important for us. And secondly, they accepted the United States and Israel as their strategic partners. And thirdly, they decided to adapt the capitalist system wholly without thinking about the uh, actual development of technology and industry in our country. So you say there is no common ground between you and the ACT Party, but you are now in collaboration with the CHP for the parliamentary elections. What is there, where is the common ground between you and the CHP? First, we have decided to come to pass the threshold. Secondly, the new system, pres presidential system, is going to lead Turkey to a dictatorship. There is no doubt, because the parliament has no influence on the president. They can't control, they can't produce any values which will be effective. So the president, in fact, is will decide whatever he thinks proper without consulting the parliament. This is the basic thing. I mean, in, in a country, if you want peace. But the people, the people chose a presidential system. This isn't a system that's been imposed on the Turkish people. There was a referendum. It was free and fair. Yes. The people chose it. No, it was not free and fair. That first, let us decide on that. Even if the I mean, according to observers, it was free and fair. No, no. Well, you can Well, we did not uh, say anything oppose whatever the public have chosen. But the point is that public can make mistake as well. It will be too late when they are uh, they see realize what the dangers are there and what they will face. Okay, so so the share common ground between you and the CHP is that you believe. That separation of power, separation of power, and the the government should not have any influence on justice on the courts. Okay. Today, the government directly controls and gives, in fact, orders to the courts. To the judiciary. You can't have justice in a world like this. I want to ask you about some of the other policies because, although a lot of the discussion in these presidential elections has been about separation of power has been about the dangers that many of the opposition parties believe the presidential system yes. poses. You have, for example, the uh, candidate of the CHP, uh, Muharram Inje, he's vowed to send back all Syrian refugees within 100 days. He's promised to appoint a Turkish ambassador to Syria uh, whose government has killed hundreds of thousands of people, including Turkmen. 
Are these policies that you believe are shared common ground between the Saadat party and the CHP? No, we are not in a coalition. They have a different agenda. We have a different agenda. The only common ground is on the separation of powers. On the other agenda, we don't share So a marriage of convenience. Yes, well, well that, that's true. When it comes to Syria, well, from the beginning, I can say that the Turkish AKP government has a foreign policy which, is, which does not have a stable goal. They have always supported the American policies. They have always given importance to, unfortunately, to Israeli policies, Zionist policies as well. Seemingly, they are very brave and they can criticize Israel in every field. They can accuse them as being a terrorist state. But the decisions they have taken mm. and the Turkish relationship with Israel improved tremendously. Uh, I mean, now, right now it's not improved. You're talking about the past few years. There's no, been no, no. very difficult situation. It was only recently that no, the ambassador no, no, returned. No, no, no. Let me tell you one thing. Mm. I believe in the trade agreements. Mm. Our trade has increased tenfold with Israel. And the pilots who are bombing Gaza is trained in Turkey. Mm -hmm. So no, you, you have and, I mean, This is an important issue. No one takes notice of this. Mm -hmm. Israeli planes who are bombing Gaza, are trained in Turkey. Can well, anyone grasp what this means? It's a, it's a very difficult concept to grasp because what a lot of people see is the Turkish aid that goes to Gaza. They see the statements made by Erdogan, for example, when uh, the U.S. declared uh, Jerusalem occupied, illegally occupied uh, Jerusalem as the capital of Israel. Um, so how do you justify well, this? I how, think how, if how do you Let explain us this? analyze all the points that you put forward. Mm -hmm. One, helping the Gaza Strip. Is blockade there? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Still the blockade is continuing. Mm -hmm. Gaza is an open-air prison. Mm -hmm. Did the Turkish government do anything? I mean, there's... No, no, no. I mean, we can put forward a lot of questions, but I, I am asking very clear questions. Mm -hmm. Those pilots who are bombing Gaza are trained in Turkey. Mm -hmm. Blockade is still there. What and what excuse our, our trade with Israel is improved? We are giving full support when it comes to Jerusalem. I mean, such a m misleading attitude is put forward in this case that what the Islamic uh, organization, the, the OIC. Muslim countries, OIC, came together, the decision they have taken. What did they say? 16% of Jerusalem belongs to, belongs to Palestine. Mm. East Jerusalem. From the other side, what it means? It means that 84% belongs to Israel. Mm -hmm. No one takes notice of this. Mm. And of course, they can't do anything. But the Palestinians are thankful because this issue was carried to the United Nations. To what effect? Nothing. Just a criticism. So you believe it's just propaganda from... Just a propaganda. That is nothing else. All the policies. We destroyed, Americans destroyed Iraq. For what reason? Because Saddam, they accused that Saddam had nuclear weapons. At the end, they could not find any. They said, we apologize. It was wrong. What? One and a half million Muslims were massacred in Iraq. Who is responsible? Isn't the policies of the Turkish government has any responsibility in this? So, so you're, you're saying that under Erdogan and the AK Party, they have uh, become closer to the United States, closer to Israel, and they want to join the European Union. If you were in power, who would your allies be? What alliances would you build internationally? Exactly. Now, first, whether some people say that, well, what happens if you bring the weak countries together? But still, we believe the unity of the Muslim countries. Mm -hmm. We have first the eight. These are the countries who have larger populations. But, but sorry to interrupt here. You have Muslim countries that are actively working against Turkey. Yes, you I have know. the United uh, Arab uh, Emirates, uh, you have uh, Saudi, uh, you have uh, Egypt, you have countries that actively are working uh, to damage Turkey. I know. 
Hmm. This happened in the past as well. Hmm. Only if there is a mind, a mind which is that determined hmm. to correct the mistakes that the countries are making, you have to hug them. You have to bring them to a table and discuss the matters, what the mistakes they are making. You must, have, you must show them that the decisions they are taking are wrong. But this is not achieved by quarreling with them, fighting with them, going to war with them. Hmm. The Muslim world is burning all over. I mean, we have to see what is happening. We have to try to bring them together so that we shall solve our problems ourselves. If the Americans or the Europeans or Israel interfere, they, we will not be able to come together. They don't want us to come together. This is a will that we have to put into effect. To be fair, in the past 10 years, Turkey's leadership role regionally, specifically in the Muslim world, has increased dramatically. 10, 15 years ago, no one really cared what Turkey's policies were, to be honest, internationally I know. speaking. I know. That, so that, that is something, looks. but that is something that you have to credit to no, the government. No, 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 no. We have supported the United States in Iraq. That is something, but yeah. what I'm, you're talking we about have. leadership role in the Muslim world. What positive decision the Muslim world has taken, tell me, because of Turkey? One decision, tell me. I mean, they would say that the, uh, those supporters of Erdogan and the government will talk to uh, the work that Turkey has done in Somalia. They will talk about uh, the interference oh, in Myanmar and the massacre of Rohingya Muslims. Let, let me tell you this. Aid is different. I agree. Turkish government, I mean, when I criticize the Erdogan or Turkish government, I am not saying that they have not done anything. Mm -hmm. Of course, we agree that they have given a lot of support to Somalia. They have given aid to other countries, other places where the Muslims are suffering. I don't reject that. But the point is, this is just aid. This is not a policy which will bring the Muslim countries to stand up on their own feet. Let's move back to domestic issues for a second. And Sunday's elections, they're not only for the presidency, they're also for the parliament. And now, while your collaboration with the CHP is only on the parliamentary election front, uh, you are re nominated as the candidates of your party for the presidency. The CHP, as I mentioned, have their own candidates, Muharram yeah. Inje. Now, considering the Sadat, Sadat party failed to get even 10% of the uh, votes in the last elections, the last parliamentary elections, that is, do you really think that you personally stand a chance of winning the presidency? There are some rumors that certain tricks are prepared. We don't know what would happen. You know, when you take a... Mm, mm, take part in elections, you go there to win. <laughs>